Xbox game development tutorial. Today we're going to be adding in the reload function for our uh, laser shooting mechanism function thingamabobber. Uh, that's our goal today. Now, just a note for everybody to know how much of an idiot I am. I just cut my toe by rolling my chair back. And yeah, it's it, this chair has wheels, so that hurt. But it's okay, I will live with it just fine. Let's just get to the real work at hand. Go to the Explorer, go to Sturdy GUI, 2D game, window, player script, like we do so very often. And go down to this variable section, and we're going to add reload time. We're going to set it to... And we'll set that later. And then we're going to have, that's, I'll explain these two functions in a second. Reload time and then make another function called, um, reloading. And actually a third. Yes, a third. And you can set reloading equal to false. But we also have a third variable we need. And this variable, uh, maybe we'll call this variable um reload time left yeah that works all right so what the reload time variable will do is it will set how long it takes to reload every time the player shoots it's a constant so uh, we'll set this keep in mind our loop runs roughly 60 times a second so if we want and i'd say a player being able to shoot twice as twice a second wouldn't be too terrible. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to set it to 30. That's roughly a half second each. Reloading is going to be a variable that simply tells us, are we currently reloading? Have we shot? Are we reloading? If you go down here to the fire method... Ah, oh, I forgot one, actually. And reload time left, which we'll set to zero right now, is how much time is left before it can fire again so now let's go down to our while true do loop and go down to the firing mechanism and make sure adding an and make sure that reload time actually oops hold on first we gotta make a new if if reloading then reload time left equals zero or not equals zero equals reload time left minus one if reload time left equal or is less than or equal to zero then reloading equals false and end so what that's going to do is it's going to check for reloading already if so it's going to subtract one from reload time left and once reload time left gets to being zero or lower, just in case, uh, just in case maybe it doesn't check correctly and it goes to negative one or something, it will change it and it will set it to false for reloading. And actually, one more thing we'll want to do reload time left equals zero. Well, why make sure we do that? Now at the firing laser, we are also going to and not reloading. That is a super uber important part or else everything else we just did will be completely useless alright now go up just wanted to make sure my mic was working because I didn't, didn't want an issue there uh, now go up to our fire function and we're going to change and we're going to add two lines to this fire function one will be reloading equals true and reload time left equals reload time and that's going to set it to 30 automatically or whatever you have reload time as so that it automatically starts there and then it counts down so now if we press F6 and we test this out we're going to see that it goes much much slower to shoot every laser which uh, apparently from one of you guys commenting yes I read basically every single one of those looks like water to one of you which I agree with it does it does um, but we're going to just shoot 
our lasers and see how this time works. I'm holding down space. So, okay, maybe, maybe a half second is too long, perhaps. Maybe, but I'm not going to change it this episode. Um, I just wanted to get a script out there. I just wanted to teach you guys how you can make a reload script. So hopefully you guys understand what we did. We made three new variables. Reload time, reloading, reload time left. We added them down here and we checked if reloading, then we subtracted one from reload time. And once reload time left got to zero, we uh, stopped reloading. And then we only fire when we're not reloading. And then in fire, we just make sure that we already know we're reloading and that we have to 30 updates to go until it finishes reloading. So hopefully that made sense to all of you guys. I really, really do hope so. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or the dislike button. Corresponding to how you felt about this video. And I will catch you guys later.